welcome to the quick desk so today we are integrating our aws environment with the datadog and for the information datadog is an observability tool for the cloud scale applications and various platforms it also provides in data analytics platforms so let's start here this is my datadog console and after the integration what we will do we will set up the database monitoring in our application performance monitor okay so here we are on our AWS console and let's see our RDS so this is our RDS okay we will integrate this one with the datadog monitoring and this is postgres RDS I'm currently on version if I sh show you the version this is 15.3 okay and datadog supports this version and it's also support the version less than 10 so it's okay now let's first do the integration so go to the datadog and in integration click on integrations and here search for AWS this is the Amazon Web Services. So click on Add AWS Account. What we will do? We will not use the cloud formation. We will do the manual setup. Here, role delegation. So it provides the documentation. We will follow that. Actually, just copy this one. Okay. And okay so we have to create a policy in our AWS environment for the work so just go to the AM here click on policies create policy and select the JSON type and we have pasted the permissions which we copied from the official documentation and just do the create policy for the name we will write the name data log integration policy and just save this so let us go <coughs> we can see the policy has been created now we have to create a role click on create role and here you have to select AWS account okay select another AWS account and for the account ID just go to the manual and here you will find the account ID this is the account ID and just copy it here also select require external ID also the external ID you will get it from the integration page this is the external ID just copy it you can also generate a new one I'm copying it mm. just do the next and for the permission policy we will just add the permission policy that we just created for the datadog so search for datadog this is the, our policy next we'll put the name datadog integration role You can just add short description later on. <coughs> so our role has been created. And just see, just confirm. And for the account AWS ID here and here you can see the account ID. I'm just copying it here. Just paste it. And the role name which we created. This is the role name. Yes. See. You can see it is created. Just click on resource collection and 
click on standard collection save you can see it is useful for the context of network traffic and also for the database monitoring if we use database monitoring so let's proceed for the database monitoring for that just click on APM database monitoring you can see the documentation so we have post case plus AWS RSS. first of all we need to change these parameters in our DB parameter group so just go to the database details and let's check the for the parameter group just click on configuration and here select this <coughs> parameter group here click on edit and search for the shared preload libraries make sure this is set to pg static statements okay and guys this the application type is static that means you have to uh, restart this rds if you modify this parameter make sure to restart otherwise the changes will not be reflected and the second one is track query activity size uh, sorry track activity query size this will be set to 4096 and this is also static so for this also you need to restart the RDS I have already did the changes so make sure to restart the RDS if you change these values thanks now go to the RDS again and here our RDS is available we need to install the agent on this database but as you know AWS doesn't provide the access to these database uh, command line or the SS access to these so for that what we will do we will launch an EC2 instance and we will configure an agent on this instance ok so go to launch instance and if, uh, if you don't know how to launch an instance there is a video you can check it out here we will name this so the instance launch is successful let's check the status our instance is in running state so we need to do SSS to it I'm copying the public IP and I'm using WinSCP tool for doing the SSH authentication So now we have the SS terminal opened here datadog page and again integrations agent and here select the version I am using Amazon Linux and here the API key so it will provide you the command you just have to paste and enter so super easy as you can see the agent installed so we'll just run it by using this command boom so busy for checking the status just do status enter you can see the agent is running so now let's go back to the database monitoring and we have to log in to the Postgres and run these commands 
for that let's just do PSSQL and also you need to install that one also so the command is sudo pnf install post grace SQL SQL 15 run this command yes we have to set up the connectivity of this EC2 with the RDS for that we need to do the changes in security group you can just do the changes in security group but we will follow some quick step you can just do setup easy to instance connection select it here continue it will automatically add the security group from RDS to EC2 and EC2 to RDS just do the setup RDS is available now so let's just connect to it so for connecting the RDS we have command ps ql hyphen h and then the host name you can just copy the host name from here hyphen hyphen port 5432 and hyphen u that is post please copy this paste it here enter and you can see we are in the post case and these are our databases now go to the database monitoring page again and we need to create a user the data dog okay so for that we'll just do suppose I'm going copy the command and run it here so it created next thing it will create the schema data doc that is required and permission will be on the pg monitor to this data doc so just run it the creation is successful as you can see the steps are very simple and all things are provided in the documentation you just have to you just have to configure few things okay so uh, this command is for checking that our database is connected or not or the data dog is able to read the queries so for this just again copy the endpoint paste it here here also and here also the command copy first let's get out from the postgres yes and paste it here so the here you have to enter the data dog password or the data dog users password okay you can see the postgres connection is okay and pg stat activity read okay and here the pg stats okay statements is also read okay okay as it is saying that to install the agent but we have already installed the agent now we just need to configure the database postgres database in this agent so for that go to pc data dog c dos go to con.d here there will be postgres.d so go to postgres.d and here there is an example of the YML file for the reference but mm, who cares so con.yml okay now the things are interesting here as you can see the configuration file is already given but it will not work properly as you need to enable some 
parameters also like for the SL and for SL you need to put the PEM file in this EC2 this is the database set file actually for that just go to just write RDS PEM file down. just select the region and I'm using I'm in EP South 1B so just go to the EP Asia Pacific that means specific Mumbai yeah this one so what we will do we'll just directly download it here for that sudo so wget and just put here we have downloaded the PEM file now and that so do Vim we are using Vim I have a con file here so in this con file you need to enter the database identifier here I will give this con file like what I am using in the chat so database identifier is actually the name of our database RDS and for the PEM file that we downloaded you just need to put the path here I had already put that and in the DB name just keep it Postgres otherwise it will already take the default as Postgres and for the password and port is 5432 in the host just put the endpoint hope that paste it here as you can see I have already uh, enabled the SL boolean to true so this is necessary guys okay and what we will do we'll just restart the agent system CTL start So checking the command, checking the status, we'll do status. See. Okay. So our agent is running. Okay. Uh, let's go to the database monitoring and here nothing else you can check various configuration here so we are going to the data dog and here go to the APM database monitoring In the database you can see the database host and just click on it you can see the queries here these are the query collections also you can check the ability zone and everything here okay so that's all thanks